Hey guys and welcome to your very first video on how to read a pair of mics. Now, when it comes to micrometers, there are different kinds of micrometers. There are just these standard flat blades. They have some with a rounded tip. They have blade mics and disc mics and all sorts of different kinds of mics. They range from 0 to 1 to 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and they just keep going up. They have huge mics, but what micrometers are used for are for measuring accurately. With calipers you don't get to measure that accurate you get within one thou two thou or so well with micrometers you get to measure within tenths which is point zero 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 one okay now this video is just for how to read micrometers now very first thing you do when you get a set of micrometers is you want to check and make sure that it lines up with zero so if you look at it this edge, which we're going to have a separate video on actually how to, if it's off just a little bit, we'll show you how to fix that. But just for this tutorial, we'll go ahead and assume that these two lines are lined up. But this zero right here, which is your tenths, all these numbers right here are your tenths. And these right here are your point zero zero one, which is your one thousandths. Okay? So the zeros need to line up with each other. Now, you can also check on gauge blocks, which I would recommend. But we're going to open this up a little bit and I'm going to explain what you're seeing in front of you. The very first thing you want to do when you're reading micrometers is look at these numbers right here. Each mark is worth 0 0.025, so 25 thou. So it's 25, 50, 75, and then 100. Okay? Very next thing you want to look at is where this zero is right here with the, your 1 thou increments. So let's go ahead and open it up to 100 thou. So that right there is 0.1 because you've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 times 0 0.025 is 0.1. So now that is 100 thou. So if I move this one mark, that's 0 0.101, 0 0.102, 0 0.103, and so on and so forth. So you just take your 25 thou increments, add them up and then add your 1 thou increments to that. All right, the very next thing you're going to do is line up your tenths. So let's bring it back down to 100 thou. And I'm just going to offset it a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this so that I can explain. Right now we are at 100 thou, but we're not exactly at 0 0.101. We're just at 100 thou. But as you can see, there's some space in here. So obviously you have to count the tenths. So what you do is you rotate your mics around until you see which line lines up the best. So it looks like five tenths. So we are at 0 0.1005. All right, now I'm gonna loosen the lock back up. I'm gonna rotate it to just a random number and then lock it so I can show you guys how to read it. All right, so now we are at 0.1, so that's 25, 50, 75, and then 100. And then you count all the way up to 8, 8 right here. So you're at 108 thou. And then you look at your tenths and see which mark lines up. And bam, four lines up. So you are at 108 thou and four tenths. And this same rule applies all the way up. Now, these are 0 to 1 mics. So if I close these all the way, they are at zero, and then when I open them up all the way to 10, because as you can see, it goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 10. When I get to that point, it'll be at one inch. Now your two to threes, whenever you're at, when your, zero, your two zeros line up there and there, you'll be at one inch. So that, that'll be your one to twos. And then your two to threes, when your zero and zero matches, that'll be two inches. So, you just have to pay attention to that. You can use calibers to kind of double check yourself and reference yourself, but it will not be as accurate as using a pair of mics. And this rule applies when it comes to reading a pair of mics. This applies to all the different types of mic micrometers. So if you're looking for accuracy and precision, I would highly suggest buying a pair of mics. You can go to a pawn store, you can go to Amazon, 
and uh, you can go to our recommended tools section we actually have a pair of digital mics which are if you if you do this every single day I would suggest saving up and buying some digital micrometers on Amazon and it will save you money and time which time always saves you money so other than that that is how you read a pair of mics and we'll go ahead and continue on and uh, learn some other stuff in the next few videos